Today we're going to create really really interesting effects using layer masks in Photoshop. Now what does a layer mask do? It's really simple. Layer mask determines which areas of the layer hides, which areas of the layer show up. And that's all there is. Now imagine this. What if another image controls which areas of the current image hide and which areas show up? Wouldn't that be interesting? So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download any photo used in the video, make sure to go ahead and download that using the links in the description. So first off, we have this image, right? Let's go ahead and create a mask. But before that, let's unlock the background layer. Okay. So to unlock the background layer, it's really, really simple. Click on the lock and that will be done. If that's not working, if you're using previous versions of Photoshop, just double click on the layer and click OK. Okay. Now that's done. Now you want to create a mask. Okay, so click on this mask button that creates a mask. Simple. Now, what if we want some image to be in this mask? Let's open up another image and drag it in the same document. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And by the way, just make sure that the image that you choose is kind of a pattern, right? And if you're in Windows, just a little tip, hold the control key and use the scroll to make it make the thumbnail smaller or larger. Just a tip. Okay, so let's choose this one and click and drag it in here. Okay, just above this and arrange it the way you like it. Control or Command T and then arrange it. Now, when we imported the image, it didn't come up with the transformation tool. Why? Here's why. If you go to the edit and then preferences and then general, there's an option here called skip transform when placing. You can leave it unchecked or you can check it, whatever you want. I usually leave it unchecked, but for the previous tutorial, I had to check it. So let's uncheck that and let's see what happens. Okay, just for this example, I just wanted to show you. Let's delete that again and just open up this and drag it in here just like that. And it will open up with the transformation tools. Okay, let's make it bigger, arrange it the way we like and hit enter. Now, once you do that, it's really simple. Press controller command A, A for all. Okay, controller command A, it selects all and then press control or command C for copy, right? Controller command C and then Come to the layer mask, but before you do that, let's turn off this layer. We don't need it. Come to the layer mask, select the layer mask, and now you cannot see the layer mask. You can see just the image, but anything that you do with the brush, it will do it in the layer mask, but you want to see the layer mask, right? So hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the layer mask. Now you can see the layer mask and then paste the same image, Control or Command V. Now this image works as a layer mask for this one. Now. Anything that you have in white in the layer mask will be visible. Anything that you have in black in the layer mask will not be visible. If you hold the Alt key again and press it again, you'll see the final image. But this looks kind of, well, not good. Why? Because the white areas are less than the black areas. We might want to invert that. How to invert that? Select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I and there you have it. Everything that is black has gone transparent. If you look at the layer mask, have a look. It's just the opposite. Now, everything that is dark black has gone transparent and everything that is white shows up. And that's the concept of layer mask, right? Let me just clear the concept of layer mask so that in case it's not clear to you. So if there's a layer simple, right? Let's paint it with any color that we want. And the, the concept of layer mask is very simple. Okay. So if you want to hide this area, create a layer mask, take the brush, any area which is painted in black, in the layer mask hides, right? Any area which is painted in white shows up. So these all areas are white, right? So these all show up. This area is black. So this area hides. Just remember this phrase. Black conceals, white reveals, right? So if I go ahead, take the brush again and choose white. And by the way, to reset the swatches, you can press D if any other color is selected. Okay, press D to reset the swatches to black and white and press X to toggle between the black and the white as a foreground color. So now suppose we have white as a foreground color, you can paint it back, you can paint it with black back in and you get the idea what layer masks do. Now, just turn on this layer, we just need this one. Let's delete this layer, we don't need any, any of this. So we need a background color, we cannot keep it transparent, right? So create a solid color adjustment layer and let's create say white for now, let's take this under it. 
and there you go you can have this effect and you can choose any color that you want you can choose yellow or any color that you like we'll get to that later but for now you don't like the spot right here we need to edit that right so of course you can go ahead and edit whatever pattern or image that you have imported inside of layer mask so in this image as you can see this area is a little distracting i wish it was somewhere around like this area so what do we do select the layer mask and to view the layer mask you already know it hold the alter option and click on this and then let's just select the clone stamp tool, right click on it and choose the clone stamp tool. If you see the pattern stamp tool, just right click on it and choose the clone stamp tool. And then let's sample it, this area and paste it here. Now think of clone stamp tool just like a copy paste in a brush. So hold the alt key and click on this area. It copies this area and just paint over this area. And that's done. And by the way, you need to make the brush a little bit bigger and softer to make it bigger. Hold the alt key right mouse button drag it to the right to make it bigger drag it to the left to make it smaller drag it up to make it soft drag it down to make it hard very soft and this is and you can sample a little bit of this area right here make it a little natural and that looks good now hold the alt key and click on it again to view this again i can paint it the way you want you can change the color suppose i'm going to create a layer actually just above this and take the brush and maybe i want golden yellow right here just like this and just paint it with a soft brush, make it bigger. Just paint this area with that golden yellow and leave this area to be white. Okay, just slowly, gradually paint that area. And you can transform this area to be blue or maybe light blue, whatever you want, you can do, right? So it's totally up on you, whatever you want to do with it, you can do it. I'm gonna leave it at white, white was cool for this. And that's all there is. Now let's get to our next example in which we'll go a little more advanced and talk a little bit about mask properties. So here we have an image of a beautiful lady and the first thing that you need to do, unlock the background layer. Click on the lock and there you go. Now, the pattern that we're gonna use in this one is let's choose this one, let's click and drag it and drop it into Photoshop. Now let's arrange it the way we like it. Let's make it a little larger, let's move it. Okay, that's fine. Now, control or command A, hide this or delete it if you want, click on this, create a mask and alt or option, hold the alter option, click on the mask button, paste it right there. Now hold the alter option, click on the mask again to view how it looks and let's just delete it, we don't need it anymore. Now how does that look inverted or without inverted, I don't know, let's try. Click on the mask, control or command I, does this look good or does that look good? I think this one looks better. Now let's get a background color. So how to get a background color? Click on this adjustment layers icon and choose solid color. We're gonna choose white and put it under this. Now that's fine, but that's kind of too much, right? So how about decreasing the opacity of the mask and how to do it? It's really simple. Select the layer mask, okay? We are in the mask properties, decrease the density. What is density? It's like the opacity of the layer mask. So let's go ahead and set it to around 26 or 30-ish, that's fine. Now, as I told you, we can go ahead and manually edit whatever is inside the layer mask, okay? And we want to erase this area, we want her face to show up, to pop out of the photo. So we'll take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white because we want it to show up, right? So make sure the foreground color is white and just Paint it with a soft brush. Make sure you hold the Alt key, make the brush a little bit bigger and flow to around 20-ish, okay? Decrease it to around 20-ish and let's just paint it slowly and gradually, giving it a really nice shadow effect there. And paint it just like that. And voila, you're good, right? Don't worry about the edges. It kind of gives it a really nice shadow effect that looks good okay wow that looks wonderful doesn't it now you can go ahead and add some text if you want let's go ahead and add some text anything you want let's type style okay let's select the move tool control or command t and make it a little bigger and there you go it's done and that's how you can use images as layer masks in photoshop just remember the basic concept of layer mask and that is this Black are the areas which hides, white are the areas which show up. If inside of a layer mask, if you paint an area with black, that area just hides, doesn't show up. If you paint an area with white, that area shows up. It's that simple. 
Now when you import an image, just import it inside of the same document, arrange it the way you like it, Control or Command A, Control or Command C, copy it, first select it and then copy it, go to the layer mask, create a layer mask, go to the layer mask, select the layer mask and then hold on the Alt or Option and click on the layer mask. This shows up the layer mask, do not forget that. And after that you can place the image there by pressing Control or Command V. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one, till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.